What's up, everyone? This is your boy, Dance the King, and we're back yet again with another edition of King Talk Moment. And uh, today, just want to talk about, as the title says, <laughs> what is knowledge? Or why is knowledge called power? Or why is knowledge synonymous with power? And today, we hope to answer that. Quick story, uh, my father, before he passed away, will always tell me that knowledge is power like he would say that to me quite frequently you know and I never got the chance to really dive in and have a deep discussion with him on what exactly does that mean what does it mean knowledge is power um, I read my fair share of books you know fair share of books throughout my life and don't feel that much more powerful you know so Today, let's just try to dive into that and maybe at the end we could come up with a true definition of what power really, or what knowledge really means. Stay tuned for that. Again, this is your boy, Dad's the King, and I want to say thank you for watching. On this channel, I like to talk about deep philosophical topics like the one we're about to discuss. And I also like to encourage my people out there to improve on themselves mentally, physically, and emotionally. So if you're into all that, please consider liking this video and please consider subscribing as well and hit the notification bell to be notified. I try to post every other day or so and uh, just trying to spread knowledge and help my people out. So without further ado, let's get to the video. All right. So right here, we got the trusty old Google definition. You know, we can believe it because it came from Google, right? <laughs> just joking. But uh, as we can see here, it says that Knowledge, facts, information, and skills acquired by a person through experience or education, the theoretical or practical understanding of a subject. Ah, okay, pretty much can't argue with that. I mean, I have no objections to that. That sounds like a straight up, you know, solid definition of what knowledge is, but still doesn't touch on why it is. Uh, assumed to be synonymous with power. So uh, let's take a look at the other definition. All right. And um, according to dictionary.com, um, they have, as you can see, there's several here, but I, I picked this one and it states that acquaintance and familiarity gained by sight, experience, or report. And I kind of like that because um, you gain. Uh, it's kind of it's just it's like experience, you know, you you gain experience by going out there and doing different things and you at the same time acquire knowledge of that experience and you can kind of use what you experience and apply that to what you know. Therefore, it accounts as knowledge, I would say. So I like that definition. Uh, if you like that one, comment below as well. Okay, so both those definitions were solid, in my opinion at least, but uh, neither one really kind of touched on why uh, people say that, well, some people say that knowledge is power. Uh, when we look at you know, professional athletes, when we look at LeBron James, um, you know, Michael Jordan, Michael Phelps, uh, you know, all the Serena Williams, all the Hall of Fame athletes out there, great athletes, you know, they, they're all, I'm sure they did spend time absorbing, you know, knowledge of their respective sports, but just absorbing knowledge by itself will not be enough, you know, just, ex just watching YouTube videos all day on things and gaining all this knowledge. Yes, it is good. But if you don't do anything with that knowledge, then you, it's really all for nothing. Uh, those professional athletes all put in a substantial amount of time working on their craft, going out there, sweating, bleeding, getting hurt, going through the healing process. You know, the whole nine to become as great as they were, as great as they are. And just to sit down all day and just watch videos on tennis, watch videos on uh, 
basketball or uh, just besides sports, if you are a coder watching videos on coding or whatever you're into, if you're just watching and consuming this information and not doing anything with it, then it's really all for nothing. You're just gaining a bunch of uh, data to yourself and you're not you're not putting that data to use to be of to be a value to mankind. You know, we have to use what we what we hear, you know, try to understand it. You know, I can understand spending a good amount of time on a YouTube video or just doing research in general to try to gather an understanding, you know, uh, a foundational understanding. But if we don't use this knowledge that we're that we're gaining, then it really will be all for nothing short story there was a lady that worked at um this let's just say just retail physician for years she was a let's just say she was a cashier at a grocery store and she worked there for 15 years straight and she knew everything about the store she knew where all the aisles were and every single item on the aisle and she could tell people where they were uh, whatever they was looking for, she could tell them where the item was without even looking. She could point them in the right direction. You know, she, she, uh, she knew how to stock things correctly. You know, she knew everything about the business and everything about the store. She had all this knowledge, you know, in her head. But here comes this young guy. He walks in there, uh, doesn't have as much knowledge as she does, but still kind of familiar with how things work. After being there for, you know, just for maybe a year or so, just figuring out how things works, a new position opens up uh, on the website and he applies for it, gets interviewed and he gets the job. He gets the job over the lady who's been working there for 10 years. And um, maybe, yeah, maybe the lady who worked there for all that time, maybe she deserved, you know, the the, the promotion, but she didn't take action on the knowledge that she had. You know, she didn't uh, go after what she, what she, <laughs> let me back up. She didn't go after what she knew that she had or what she deserved. She figured that just because she'd been there that long that people were going to notice her. And maybe, maybe the owners of the company should have noticed her. You know, maybe they just missed her. But the new guy who came in, he put his knowledge to the test and he went out there and he took a chance. You know, so I don't, don't think, I don't, maybe that's not the perfect story or the perfect analogy for this. But, uh, I feel like it applies. I feel like that, uh, knowledge when you when you acquire knowledge you have to put that to the test you have to use the knowledge so to sum up the video today knowledge is a tool it is a tool that we are supposed to use just like money money itself is nothing you know you can't do what can you do with money it's just paper you know that that was printed out of a printer by the, by the government, you know, and, it, and it's really nothing by itself. But what you do with the money is what gives it value. You know, you get the money, you can buy the headphones, you can buy the hat, you know, you can buy whatever you want with it for the most part. But it is a tool. It is a medium of exchange to get you what you want. It's the same thing with knowledge. Knowledge is a medium of exchange. Uh, you acquire the knowledge and you use the knowledge to get what you need or to get what you want or to get where you're trying to go, you know, but we have to use it. We have to use it. We have to apply this knowledge, my people, to get to the places that we feel like we deserve to be at. Uh, and we can't make assumptions like the lady, the lady in the, in the grocery store assumed that just because she knew all these things, she was going to get the promotion. And, no, that's not it. You know, you have to you have to go the extra mile sometimes. Even when you think you know it all, you you know you don't. You have to you have to go the extra mile, my people. 
And that's pretty much it for today's episode. And, you know, again, just to sum it all up, knowledge is a tool. Use this tool. Go out there and break some heads with it. And uh, this is your boy, Des the King. This is another King Talk moment. Again, if you're into this, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. And let me know what you think, man. What is your definition of knowledge? Is knowledge actually power? Do you disagree with me? Do you agree with me? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, please follow me on IG at Des the King. I do a weekly podcast called King Talk TV Live every Sunday. Sunday, 8.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Hey, I may even love to have you as a guest on my show. If you're interesting, you know, or if you're interested in doing that, please DM me, leave a comment below, and we'll get together and we'll set it up. Okay, guys, I hope you all have a great rest of your night. Stay tuned for the next video, and y'all stay good and stay faithful. Peace.